Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is my vlog of Collectomania Milton Keynes, which I've just got back from. I was exhibiting there with the UK R2-D2 Builders Club, doing some 3D printing and some other bits and pieces. Uh, if you remember my previous vlog about making a battery-powered 3D printer, we originally thought there was going to be no power there, so I was all prepared with my car battery. But as it turned out, we did have ample power points and it was mainly the traders on the main floor who didn't have any power, who had to pay such a lot of money for a power point. So we're all good with the printer. I took the 12 volt printer, which is why I didn't have the Taz there. Anyway, here's the vlog. It's Friday afternoon. I'm outside Milton Keynes Stadium and setting up with the other people. So here's all the traders setting up in the downstairs hall. And we're over in that corner with some Daleks and some other bits and pieces. So a bit of a change of plan, we've moved upstairs so there's much more space. So we should be able to run some droids up and down over the weekend and we've got most of this entire area. So I'm in the Double Tree Hilton, which is the hotel attached to the stadium. Um, yeah, we had to move upstairs. There wasn't really enough space for all of the costuming people and all of that stuff on that balcony. We're kind of up away from the traders. I think the traders actually pay for the tables, but we don't. Um, but um, there was power in the end and there is on the floor up as well. So that's really good. So I don't need to roll out my battery solution for 3D printing. So an early start, well, ish, 8 a.m. tomorrow. Right, it's Saturday morning, just getting up, for, setting up for the early bird tickets, which start at nine, it's about half eight now. But we are right up there above the Daleks. So I don't know how people are gonna know we're up there. Maybe we'll hang an R2-D2 over the balcony. Right, I've just run up the stairs again. So we've got a couple more droids arriving. It's an R5, and here's my 3D printing table. So we've got some new 3D printed samples, including this, these uh, boxes which open in a secret way. One of these is printed in wood filament, and I've also got this NinjaFlex handle to show how strong NinjaFlex is, and those things have been provided courtesy of 3D filler prints. This is great, you can get everyone's attention from up here. Come up here! We need to get the pea shooter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Stuart and James from the UK R2D2 Builders Club. Can you tell us a bit about the club, guys? Hi, yeah, well, the uh, club, the UK chapter of the club, uh, was set up about uh, four or five years ago now um, when members of the UK uh, who wanted to build Astromex, uh, who were already members of the Worldwide Builders, um, decided to pull our resources and hence we've uh, come up with the UK Builders Club. And uh, we travel to many events, both for charity and for uh, uh, events for both Lucasfilm and for Disney. 
Okay, sounds excellent. How's the weekend been? It's been a lot of fun, yes. Uh, we've got a new spot. Um, we're still getting a lot of people up here, which is great. Uh, seeing a lot of old regular faces, um, seeing celebrities as well. Uh, they always love the R2s. Uh, yeah, just driving about. It's a lot of fun down there with the R2s. Having a good time. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Right, it's about half past ten on Saturday. We were a bit worried the public wouldn't find us up here, but it's going pretty well. So it's the middle of Saturday afternoon, it's been quite busy up here. I've so far printed one and a half power couplers, which go there, and one set of coin slots. 3D filler print sent me this Ninja Flex print, which is rubbery. It's about 30 or 40% infill by the look of it, and it's incredibly tough. So we need to get someone to help me stretch that and see how far it'll go. So I just need you to pull it as hard as you can without pulling the over. That's the new ball. That's the new ball, but it's only got six, six meters there and it's got I2C. Yeah. Yep. Whereas the old board is actually full of these, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think I've got a new new board. Newer board. Yeah. <laughs> I bought it this year. It's 
lunchtime on Sunday, it's still quite busy. There's still quite a few people here. A bit less than yesterday. We've still got quite a good throughput up here. It's pleasantly busy with people popping through and quite a few droids today. Okay. Right, I'm here with Dom from the Mandalorian Mercs. So tell us a bit about your costuming group. Uh, the Mandalorian Mercs costuming group started with about five blokes in America and uh, because of Jeremy Bullock and Boba Fett, iconic Boba Fett, they uh, got together and said, well, why don't we do custom Mandalorians? And now, presently, there are over a thousand in the worldwide. Um, the UK Vokchi clan, uh, we've got about 20 uh, official members, uh, all different, different costumes, different styles, different takes on the iconic Mandalorian T-Visor, T-Visor helmet and the armour. Um, and we do lots of different things for charity, costuming, um, at the moment we're helping feel the force day. Uh, a lot of the guys make their own helmets. We've got a helmet builder in UK, Saz Richard. Um, I make armor, different people make their own costumes. Just have a great time, really. Okay, sounds excellent, thank you very much. Ready, Trapper? Ready. Go for it. One, two, three, oh, hang on. go! <laughs> I'm here with Simon from Joker Squad. Can you tell us a bit about Joker Squad? The Joker Squad's a charity fundraising group that uses the Star Wars universe and the expanded universe as costumes and props to raise money for worthy charities such as Great Ormond Street and Alexander Divine Children's Hospice. Okay, sounds good. Show us your lightsaber. This is my custom Starkiller saber, a present on its aqua setting. Cool. There we go. And if you go yourself. Excellent. Thank you very much. No problem. So I've got my four ankle detail pieces done, which belong on my R2 where they're missing. I did two power couplers yesterday, and now I'm just doing some more power couplers, which I'll probably give away to the other members at the end of the day. So quite a few 3D printed things on the table now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
that's the end of the vlog. Thanks to everyone who stopped to say hello. I've put the links to most people featured in the video in the description to this video. If you're in the video and you want your link added, then please send me a message and I'll add it in. That's all for now.